Hello and welcome. My name is Henry Washburn. I'm the technical evangelist here at Datto. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a cloud virtualization uh, through our partners uh, partner portal. It's very simple. For demo purposes, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, not live virtualization because usually we would want to make sure that you know you have correct connectivity and all sorts of stuff that way. But let me show you. Uh, you go to Devices and then Recovery Launchpad. And choose your agent uh, and simply Virtualization. Choose whatever recovery point you want to do and how much memory you want to use. Now when you're doing a full site disaster, because usually if you're doing a cloud virtualization that's that's what you're going to uh, that's what you're going to experience, you know, a local, you know, hurricane or complete power outage or something of that nature. Um, you're going to want to start your domain server first, and then you can batch start the other servers. Uh, I'm going to boot it in SATA and with the MT desktop version of Nick. And since this is a demo, I understand the risks. I'm going to not require RDP authentication with two CPU cores. And then save the settings and start the virtualization. What's happening now is on the offsite server that I backed up my uh, agent's data to, uh, we create a, a restore point and then virtualize that through the internet. Connect via remote RDP. And it takes a moment or two because it's actually virtualizing through the internet. As soon as a virtualization has, as soon as a snapshot has been sent off site, uh, just like with the local virtualization, as soon as a snapshot's created, it's virtualizable. As soon as that snapshot also is sent off site, it is also virtualizable in the cloud. As you can see, you saw the Microsoft loading bar. Uh, in a few moments, we'll have our Windows virtualization booted. Now, once this is uh, booted, you can then do a, uh, we'll do off-site snapshots if you need to. Um, you could also, if you have your data device locally somewhere, maybe you pulled it out of wherever, um, whatever location you had. By the way, you'll see some, uh, if this is an OEM licensed virtualization, which in this case it is, it's different hardware, so, you know, it's going to come back and say, you need some activation help. Uh, which in a disaster recovery you can contact Microsoft and they'll fix all of that. That's why we usually recommend enterprise licenses with Microsoft so you can easily, you don't have to worry about activation. And as you can see we have our booted VM right here and this is my RDP link to get connection to the uh, virtualization. Now for restoration back it really depends on what has been restored. You know obviously if it's if the data device is kaput we'll replace that device uh, once free a year uh, or we can do incremental sen sends of the data that we backed up off-site to a local data device wherever it may be. And if you have an exchange machine you could do an off-site curl restore which we can we've done many times in our data centers and then send it down to your exchange machine that you might have locally and you do whatever regular procedures you would normally have locally once you get the data from the off-site uh, server farm. Once you're all done with the virtualization, you simply close it, and you've restored your locally uh, in, a, in a disaster, you're back to the recovery, uh, you've recovered back to the original um, state, you just power off the VM, and destroy any changes. Now keep in mind you don't want to destroy prior to recovering the data uh, back to the production status um, because then you'll lose all the data change that occurred so that's something to keep in mind. But this has been a quick cloud off-site virtualization. For more information on how to run anywhere, restore anytime, and protect anything, go to data.com.